Once upon a time, there were three bears. There was a big bear named Papa Bear, a medium bear named Mama Bear, and a little bear named Baby Bear. They all lived together in a cabin in the woods. The bears enjoyed eating their oatmeal in the morning, and they each had their own special bowl. Papa Bear had a big bowl, Mama Bear had a medium bowl, and Baby Bear had a little bowl. One morning, Mama Bear made oatmeal for breakfast and put some in each bear's special bowl. This oatmeal looks delicious, but I'm going to wait until it cools off to eat it. Oh no, I'm so hungry. Will that take a long time? It is such a beautiful day. Let's go for a walk in the woods while we wait for it to cool off. Not long after they left, a girl named Goldilocks saw their cabin while she was walking in the woods. What a cute cabin. I wonder if anyone is home. She decided to knock on the door to see if anyone was home. The bears must not have closed the door all the way because as she was knocking on the door, it slowly opened. Oh my, look how nice it is inside this cabin and something smells delicious. Hello, is anyone home? No one answered. Goldilocks should have shut the door to the cabin and gone home, but unfortunately, that is not what she did. I am sure that whoever lives here won't mind if I came just for a little bit. She followed her nose to where the bowls of oatmeal were. Mmm, that oatmeal smells so good. I'm sure they won't mind sharing their oatmeal with me since they have three bowls. First, she tried the oatmeal in the big bowl. That is too hot. Next, she tried the oatmeal in the medium bowl. That is too cold. Then she tried the oatmeal in the little bowl. Mmm, this is just right. It didn't take her long to eat all of the oatmeal in Baby Bear's little bowl. Once her tummy was full, she looked for a place to sit down. That is when she saw three chairs. These chairs look like a nice place to sit. I'm sure they won't mind if I sat down for a little bit. First, she tried the big chair. Ouch, this chair is too hard. Next, she tried the medium chair. This one is too soft. Then she tried the little chair. This chair is just right. Suddenly, the chair broke. Oh, I guess I was too big for that chair. Goldilocks should have left, but she decided to look around the cabin some more. Before long, she found a bedroom that had three beds. These beds look so comfortable. I'm sure they won't mind if I lay down for a minute. First, she laid on the big bed. This one is too high. Next, she laid on the medium bed. This one is too low. Finally, she laid on the little bed. This one is just right. And she fell fast asleep. Meanwhile, the three bears had come back to the cabin from their walk in the woods. They were hungry and ready to eat their oatmeal. Someone has been eating my oatmeal. Someone has been eating my oatmeal. Someone has been eating my oatmeal and it's all gone. The three bears began looking around their cabin and they saw their chairs. Someone has been sitting in my chair. Someone has been sitting in my chair. Someone has been sitting in my chair and now it's broken. The three bears quickly went into their bedroom. Someone has been sleeping in my bed. Someone has been sleeping in my bed. Someone has been sleeping in my bed and she is still here. The sound of Baby Bear's little voice woke Goldilocks up. Who are you? I'm Baby Bear. Who are you and why are you in my bed? Goldilocks realized that she wasn't dreaming. The bears were real. She cried out and ran out of the cabin. And as she ran away, she was heard saying, I'm Goldilocks. I'm sorry I ate your oatmeal, that I broke your chair, and that I slept in your bed. The three bears never saw Goldilocks again. And they always made sure 
that their door was locked when they went for a walk in the woods. Thank you.